Good day traders, this is Rich with some price action on the weekend. It is September 6, 2020, and I promised a time and sales video for TradeStation users and how I have it set up. I've been working on this for several, several months to get it fine-tuned the way I want it. I say several months because I'm adding stuff or removing stuff. Um, to get the best data to make my decision, especially when it's hitting a strong point where I need to enter the trade. Uh, I've been testing with small shares, large shares, block trades, things like that to kind of give me an idea or an edge to my entry. Now, the way I have it set up now it has been pretty good. I'm still getting jumped on trades and I don't believe I could add any more information to make that any better. I think that's uh, one of three things. Either my CPU isn't strong enough, the data feed isn't strong enough, or I just not getting enough um, information to enter my trade on time. I'm going with the CPU of my computer at this time. Even though I have a pretty fast computer, it's usually at those critical points where a flood of data comes in and I, I, I end up missing the trade when I you know, really want to hit the buy button. Uh, of course, this is the weekend, so price action will not be moving. Um, so you're gonna have to just bear with me as I go through this process of showing you how to set up time and sales. You've seen my level two video and how I set up this one from out of this, you know, when you open it up, it looks like, you know, just a blank, not blank, canvas or anything like that but there's just not it's hard to decipher any of the information so i was able to break this down to make it a little bit cleaner and the same thing goes for time and sales there's just so much information in time and sales what information do you need to make your trading decision stronger so this is will just be kind of a quick video of how i set it up we'll start with a blank time and sales window pretty much how you would do it yourself. So here is my time and sales on a Apple stock. Currently it's showing a lot of red here and white and black. Uh, I have a minimal stuff here. And if you notice when I open a new time and sales window, I now have a ton of information. Now this is, if you want this information, that's up to you. But sometimes you just don't need Especially when a stock is moving that fast, you really need the time. Uh, if a stock is moving like at warp speed and sales are happening every second, do you really need it to say 7.59 and 37 seconds? Twice, three times, four times, five times? No, so we get rid of that, right? Do we need the type of trade? Now that's something you might be interested in because there's a trade, there's three options here. There's trades, there's bids, there, there's asks, right? So. I decided to just put out the information on a trading basis, not on bids coming in or asks coming in. Um, obviously, you want the price. You need to have the price and the size. Do I want the exchange? It might help some. Uh, I am not a big exchange needer, <laughs> so to speak, um, because it just it's almost like time. Now, if you had a 50,000 share on the ass from EdgeX, it would be nice to see those shares going away. And you know, this is something I thought about incorporating into my time in sales. It's just so much information to look at at such a fast moving time that I kept it off the screen. And then you have the condition, which is you know, anything from, I guess, at the bid, above the ask, odd lots. Um, it, it's just, it's multiple things that can show up um, so I don't include that. I just include actual trades. So let's go through it. And if I fumble through it a little bit, I said that in level two, uh, please bear with me. I haven't done this in actually a little bit, so I have to remember exactly what I did. So first thing I do is on trades. So basically I'm going to try to make this look like this. First thing I do on data is I get rid of bids and I get rid of ass, right? So that's all bids and ass. I just include trades. So there's so much. So it's actually a trade, you know, not actually taking place or a condition. It's just bids and asks coming in. I get rid of bids 
and I gave it ask. So now I'm just dealing with trades, okay? So there's the data set for that information. Then I go to symbol. Now this is kind of critical because you have two options or multiple options here. You can have as many ticks as you want. Um, you can put 3,000 ticks, 30,000 ticks. You don't need all that information. I just put 300. So pretty much what can show on here and I can scroll down a little bit to see what if I had, if I did record it and I can pause and see like this block, this 1,050 shares come in that I, that I missed or whatnot. Um, I could do time and things like that. So here is another thing, display. I select trades and I show all trades. I there's times when I don't like to show odd lots too, so I'll hit show trades greater than 100 shares. Now, if you're trading a high stock like Amazon or um, when Tesla was trading in 2000 area, you could do show to all trades because 10 tra 10 shares was quite a bit. Um, it was almost equivalent to like 100 shares, you know what I mean, to a smaller stock like now Apple's priced at 120 versus 500. Um, you know, I definitely want to show all trades uh, versus just 100 shares. Some people like to get rid of the odd lots, um, like like 12 shares or something like that. But I like to keep it so I have um, all trades. Um, now, if you're dealing with, especially if you're dealing with a s small price stock, like a $5 stock, you're going to want to show all because you'll see, um, you know, all kinds of levels of prices. So let's continue on. All right, so we are going to do the next step. So remember, I take just trades. I uh, remove bids and asset that is in there originally. Sometimes it's not, um, and I'm going to hit OK. All right, so the next window is window. This is probably the biggest one of all that you're going to make changes on. And on the general tab, I'm pretty much going to say it says display only significant digits. You know, I turn that off and I don't think it really does much. Um, this kind of just avoids some of this. It says significant digits. Um, I really don't know what that means, to be honest with you. I haven't figured that out. So I just kind of removed it and I say automatically apply data corrections. Okay, so under color. So let's just go to color and on trade, I will do a standard white and black background. Um, here's where it gets interesting. So you have all kinds of conditions, which is above ask, at ask, at bid, below bid, and between. So the important part here is anything above ask and at ask. That's where, because I'm, you know, I'm buying, right? So I'm not really shorting or selling. Um, and I want that information displayed um, pretty nicely for me. So let me, okay, so here I am going to select white and black above ask. I'm going to do a uh, foreground, I'm going to make uh, black, and then the background, I'm going to make green. This is above ask. Um, at ask, I'm going to do a, a white foreground and a green um, background. At bid, I'm going to do a white foreground with a red. Now you can do, you can select the red you want, and then a white and red as well. Between, I keep white. Actually, white foreground. I actually black foreground and white background this is black layer so if we say okay let's see what happens okay so things have changed which is good um, but you're not seeing everything possible so give me a second here all right so so bid and ask okay the key here is for bid and ask we'll go back to trade in a second we're turning these off so we're going to any deselect enable on bid subtypes there's tons of them so if we enable it you can see there's tons of these and there's just so much information you just don't need it so i'm well, i don't need it and then under trends i'll do the up and down and i'll disable that as well and on ask there's all these same things as bids and i'll disable that and, and disable that so we'll say okay nothing really changes here okay so we're not really nothing really moved you can see some of the green you can see some of the white you can see some of the red 
that's coming in to make it look like this. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to trade. And yes, we have the conditions enabled, which is above ask, at ask, at bid, below, and between. So between is what you're seeing, the white and black here. And at the bid, uh, you're seeing the red. Now, if there was, if there was a trade above, you see the green and white, okay? So let's go back in and we'll go to trade. And what I'm gonna do is on these subtypes, I'm gonna disable that. There's a ton, corrections, we're gonna disable those. And then we're gonna disable those, so we'll say okay. And those information just changed completely. Now I have everything I wanted to see based on the actual trades taking place at the ask or at the bid or in between. I have three different options and I have a ton of information showing. So what I wanna do is kinda of make it a little bit bigger. Now, if you want it smaller, you can get more information. This is probably two for one over here if you keep it this size font, right? So if you compare the two, you're talking like two to one. So let's go back into window, then we'll go to font, okay? Now this is gonna be up to you. I usually go bold and I go about 10, I believe. Um, actually, I think I go a little stronger than 10. So I think I go 11, uh, bold, aerial, black. Yeah, so that's what I do. Actually, I reduced it to 10. Um, you can see it's a little bit. Now the reds are a little bit different because I have them all solid red here and I actually like this a little bit better to be honest with you. Um, I should have it above ask as a different color. You can do that. Um, this is actually cleaner. Um, see, I don't want that. I think I made a mistake here. I have a dark green uh, with a black background, but I actually want a dark green with a white background. Um, let me see if I can fix that real quick. I want to make sure I do that right. So it was a dark green. What would I say? Dark green. Uh, there it is. So I didn't change that. So make sure you go ahead and change that. Sorry about that. So that should be white now all the way through. So you can see it nice and clean. Um, let's reduce the font one notch. Okay, we'll go one notch down. We'll go to 10. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. All right, so now more information you have to do because there's a lot of information here uh, on the grid. Okay, so there's not much. You can change this if you want to show the, the lines or not, um, like that. It actually didn't do much. It didn't really do anything. So we're going to just put those back. Well, it actually didn't save. I thought it removes it. Foreground grid sign. Huh. I don't know, that's weird. It's off, we'll put them back on, no big deal. So the last thing you really need to do is, okay, so I still have all this information, right? I have like a long list of information. This is just too much, right? You don't need all that. So you gotta go into um, columns and you, you can have the quote bar. And in the quote bar, you have the symbol, bid, tick, last, net change, bid, ask, high, low. So do you really want the bid, ask? You don't really need that because you have that on the, the level two. Um, I keep only the symbol, the bid tick, the last, and the net change. So I remove this, I remove this, I remove this. I keep the high low on the level two. And you can customize this a little bit more if you wanted to, but I don't. And I say okay. Okay, so that's so now I have these four items, and you don't even really need net change at this point because you have it on level two as well. And for the final piece, which is what brings everything together to make it look like mine is when you hit settings, columns, and detail. So detail gives you the time. Do we need time? Let's remove time. And you can already see we're starting to shape. Okay, so let's go back in there. We'll go back into detail. And remember, I just want price and size. So we're gonna get rid of type, which is like it saying trade or bid or ask. We're gonna say price. We're gonna keep that, we're gonna keep the size, which is important. Do we, if we get rid of the exchange, then we don't know where it's coming from, but that's okay. And the condition is odd lot below bid or form and all this other stuff. So we're gonna go remove, boom. Whoa, what just happened? We just lost a whole bunch of information. Um, guess what? That's the information that I look at. Okay, so it's the same. 350, 52, two, different color reds. Um, you can set it how you want it. 
Um, I just kind of selected these colors. Now I'm noticing something that I haven't fixed on this just yet are the decimal levels. I have it set at 120.00 to reduce the sign. So let me go and change that. So what we're going to do is we can either right click or go into um, you know settings up above and hit columns and then detail and then what you want to do is select price not size but price and then you can say hit customize and then there's same as there's number and it says four here so it gives four digits after the decimal so what we're going to do is boop, boop, drop it down to two um this will give us like you don't want any like 120 you know you see prices go by at 119.95.6 you know you don't need that so we're just going to go to two decimals and as you can see we clean that up really nice so now we're going to shrink this down and um, if you look at the two, we're pretty close together. Um, I kept the last and then that changed, but you really don't need it because unless you move them around, you can you can you know expand this a little bit further so you can get information and make this font a little bit bigger. But that pretty much sums it up. So if you were to do like a Tesla, do Tesla over here, you know it's the same thing. Different color greens. It just shows you can make whatever greens or reds you want. Um, this gives me the information I need and you know hopefully you know when you see a like if you see trades just going by that's one thing but when you see a significant uh, amount of different blocks coming through like colors so you see a lot of green coming through with like 105 that really helps make it helps make a decision versus just a you know set of whites um, when you start to see this significant move uh, it helps to make your entry a little bit easier now this isn't the you know end of the world here it's just you can do whatever you want you can change it how you want it this is how i have it and if you have any better ideas let me know and i look forward to hearing what you have to say hope you let me know in the comments below subscribe to the channel and i will continue to make trade station um videos as much as i can and if you have any questions let me know you guys have a good one and we'll talk to you soon.